We've been spending a lot of time playing around with the beat sequencer and exploring what we can do with 16th notes. So I thought it would be fun today to take some of those rhythms and see if we could turn them into a melody. Here's a view of the drum grid we've been working with in the beat sequencer. I've actually gone in and marked it up a bit so I had a better understanding of the rhythm. In each of those 16 slots, I have the equivalent of four quarter notes, which can divide into eight eighth notes and divide again into 16 sixteenth notes. Today I want to play around with those sixteenth notes and see if we can create a more complicated rhythm that we can then in turn use for an idea for a melody. So I've already added a drum track to the project. What I want to do is create the rhythm that is going to become my melody and I'm going to do that using the open and closed hi-hat. I could record this just using one of those instruments, but I like the two because it allows me to see and hear what's happening. Once I've recorded the drum track, I'm gonna go into my settings and adjust my tempo. I'm going to drop this down to 50. It'll be a lot slower and easier for me to play along with as I create my melody. I'm ready to record my melody based on the rhythm pattern we created. I've muted all of the other tracks, so all I can hear is the rhythm, and I'm actually going to skip the first two bars. This will allow me to hear exactly how it sounds again so I can match it up perfectly. I'm also only going to record two bars of this D minor melody. I'll be able to then go back to my instrument track view, edit it, transpose it, and move it around. So I've already duplicated those two bars. I'm going to go into my track settings now where I'm going to transpose that second statement down five half steps. Those five half steps will bring me to my second chord in our progression, which is A minor. I really like the idea of creating a rhythm and then mirroring that rhythm with a melody. Tomorrow we'll add a couple of more things and wrap this project up.